in them. It's an interesting thing when you bring your daughter to court, especially one who's as close as Chantelle has been and is to you. Mm. What's today really about? The principle. I, I, I need the money as well now. I'm not in the position I was in at the time. Um, so, but more the principle that if I loan her money, she should put me first, not... Exes, other people, credit cards, debts, especially when you're living somewhere rent-free and you'd be homeless yeah. but for you. Yes. Is that about right? Yes. I'd like to say thank you for Mum. I'd like to say thank you, but I'd also like to say if somebody didn't spend £5,000 on a vehicle that's worth three and a half, as in her own vehicle, then... But I bought the that five... car. Be quiet! It's, you're not going to get any money back from I that, I don't want you? any money back for that car. That's my car. Well, you're not going to get any money back from that. Mine's an investment. You're still earning money on it. What on earth? Did you, did you purchase that car for her? No, did I didn't. Did you spend your money on it? No, How I dare you? <clears throat> Linda, I had a different view of this case. I was about to give a ruling. I'm afraid to say to you, it might have been a different ruling. Chantelle, what's it got to do with you how she spends her hard-received money? No, I agree, but I think if you can... I'd, at the end of the day, banks charge me interest for the credit cards and things like that. She doesn't. How dare you? The debts that you've accrued when you've been living rent-free and utility-free are your fault. How dare you comment on your mum's situation and what she may or may not buy? She can do whatever she wants. OK. Who's that over there? That's my mum. Now, in this case, April, it's not fair to say that you don't like your son. Quite the opposite, correct? I love him dearly, Judge. Do you hear that? Do you love Mum dearly, Jordan? Certainly. Now, here's the thing, Jordan. You are a bit like what some people describe a mad scientist. Despite being very, very clever and very good at chemistry, how good are you with money? Not very. How bad is he with money? Very bad. Judge. What are we talking, Mum? If he had £100, how long would it stay in his pocket? It would burn a hole in his pocket immediately. Now, leading up to July the 24th of 2018, the situation was, I'm perfectly satisfied, April, that you'd already lent Jordan a good deal of money up to that point. Exactly. Correct? That's exactly what you do, good. because you're a mum. Yes. And you write it off and you do your very best. Only, here's the thing, your money had been depleted by that point and there was a telephone call saying that... Jordan needed help to pay for his rent. This was money outside of the ordinary amount that you would ordinarily lend him, correct? Correct, yes. We're not talking dribs and drabs. What did he ask for? A thousand pounds. Remember that? Yes. Was it to pay rent? It was. Did you pay rent with that money? Most of it. But, unfortunately, I couldn't still afford to pay the full Well, rent. not most of it. Did he telephone you and say, Mum, I need money for rent? He did. Did you... Give him that £1,000 on the basis of the representation he made to you, saying, this money is for rent. That's correct, Judge. Were you concerned that your darling, charming little boy would be walking around the streets? I was concerned. Absolutely. Can't have him homeless. Well, Osazi, Osaram, who's that over there, Osaram? Oh, he's my brother. Now, the reason you brought your brother to court is because you say he owes you money for goods that you've purchased, which he's ended up in debt to you for, and you want your money back, correct? Yes, correct. Because you say he's not very reliable. Is he normally reliable? Never. Very. Not very at all? No. That's not true. Not true? No. You are mostly financially reliable. How would you describe yourself on a scale of 1 to 10? 1 being not very reliable, 10 being Judge Rinder. Where would you place yourself on the scale? I would say 9. A 9? Yes. You're almost Judge Rinder. Yeah. <laughs> 17th of May came. That was the day of the first payment. I presume that Asazi assiduously paid you that £30. No. Why didn't you pay him on that first day? Because I couldn't. Because, um... I, didn't I, pay? I think I did pay him. Oh, no. You did. What do you mean you couldn't? You think you did? No, I did pay him. Did you? Didn't you? Yes, I did pay him. No, he didn't, actually. Now, on the 20th of May, it's right to say that you accept that Asazi gave you the first sum. Yes. Now, was it £10 or £20? How much did he give you? It was £10. £30. 
Higher? Lower? Where do you think you are? Play your cards right. I don't understand. I gave him £30. Pounds Where's the evidence? Is there a bank transfer? Did you keep a record? Yeah, th there is my bank transfer showing the £10. Well, I've seen £10 being transferred. That's correct. How did you give him the other 20 This is not a difficult question. I it think... wasn't that long ago. I, did trans I think I did transfer him the £30. You think you did? Could it have happened in your imagination? <laughs> did this happen in reality? Yes, it did. Well, sir, here's the question. Why haven't you paid him? Because I... OK, when I got the, the deal from him, for him, I was really in a position where I was... I budgeted myself and I was like, I'm going to be able to pay every week £30. But the next week, I had stuff coming up, like um, I had to pay my rent, for example. And, was uh, that unexpected? <laughs> no, it wasn't ex unexpected. And what else? Make it then, list. And then I had to buy my car. What? You had to buy your car? Yes. You were forced to buy a car? Yes, because... Who forced you? <laughs> no. What's their name? <laughs> what sort of car? Um, I first bought um, a Ford K8, £270. You bought a car for £270? Yes. You didn't buy a car, sir. You bought a wheelbarrow with an engine. <laughs> Who's that over there to you, Sam? Over here? No, over there. <laughs> <laughs> That's my mother. That's your mum over there, correct? That's correct. And you have a certain view. And I understand why, because, Tracy, you've brought your son today to court for damaging what you say is considerably expensive property, correct? Indeed. And in reply, Sam, you say, well, it's simply not my fault. Now, 2013, you were trying to get a photo shoot, correct? Yes. For this particular collection. That's correct. And it needed to be moved. Where did it need to be moved from to? Uh, it was moved from the house to uh, the local model engineering society. Understood. And you were going to make sure that only Marmorati were allowed in? Indeed, we do have people come in from all over the country Absolutely. when it's out. Absolutely. Yes. And check their badges and credentials and that sort of thing. <laughs> and it needed to get to this particular space safely. Very important. And back. Yes, and back. Yes. No point otherwise. <laughs> Point is this, you didn't hire professional movers, you did it yourself by putting it in boxes and your son over there, correct? Yes. And what I need to know now, Sam, is when Mum asked you to move this stuff, did she give you any special instructions? Apart from being told to be careful multiple times, I wasn't really sure what was there. Uh, well, you knew that there were Marmite jars in it, right? I didn't know the value. Did you know the value? Of course not, because you're not a member of this secret society. <laughs> True? True. And so all of the stuff was put in boxes, ready for you to move. You pick up one of the boxes, right? Now, it's very important. Did you run down the stairs? No. Were you drunk? No. <clears throat> well, you laughed. That might be important, very important for the type of claim you're bringing. Now, did you run down the stairs? No. Did you cavort down the stairs? No. Did you put the marmite on top of your head and go, wee? <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. No? Did you stand up at the top of the stairs and go, goodness me, I hate this spread, I'm going to destroy it? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't say out loud. Are you, and this is a very important question, and bearing in mind, I can tell Porkies, do you understand? I understand. But I hope you're standing comfortably here. This is a moment of importance. It's a big, big question. Just imagine that I'm Vladimir Putin. <laughs> And this is KGB Central. <laughs> Are you a secret agent of the Marmalade? <laughs> <laughs> no. Speak! <laughs> <laughs> Am I right that she's been a little bit spoiled? Jess has been spoilt. I was in a position as she was the baby. I brought the others up that I could give Jess more. There you are with your smile. Do you think it's funny that she's had to bring you to court? I, I think it's a bit over the top, to be completely honest with you. Lynn, what I need to understand is what sort of young person Jess is. She's very loving. Everybody loves Jess. Um, but she's very... Over here, please. Sorry, she's very superficial in. She's more concerned with how she looks, with her sun beds, her nails, her hair. How often do you go to Mum to borrow money? Um, 
like every day. Well, how much might you spend on going out? I've seen what you say in your reply. It can be up to like two hundred pounds. What do you spend the money on? Alcohol. Anything else? New, new a new outfit to go out. What else do you need to spend your money on? Um, Wait. Like... I'm there, I'm with you. This is a <laughs> philosophy. I need to understand. Number one, tans. Anything else? Eyelashes. <laughs> How many times a week do you go on a sunbed? Like four. Tanning, yes? Nails. New shoes. Anything else? Well, new clothes, new makeup. How much? Products. How much a month? Um, I would say probably 75% of my wages. What about the electricity? Free? No. Nope. Ironing, washing, all free? But it is for Jess, <laughs> because <laughs> Mum does it. Asking you, right, all of that? No. You're not responsible for any of that? I was very responsible. Before we moved, I'd done my own washing. I'd do my mum's washing when I was out of work. Um, I'd do the, how, the cleaning I cooked for myself. So I'm, I don't want to be painted out like I don't do anything. No, you do a lot. You shop. <laughs> <laughs> it's good exercise. How much do you think electricity costs? Water, the food in the house, the ironing, clean bed linen. Yes, all yes. of that? Yes. Extraordinary. Why are you entitled to that for free? Because if I wanted to pay bills, I would move out. <laughs> you don't smoke or anything like that, do you? Yes, I do smoke. How much does that cost? Seven pounds a day. You think that's all right? Do I, I don't agree. Talking! <laughs> do you think that is all right? I don't agree with that. What is she saying that's... She Wrong doesn't false. always pay for my cigarettes. It's this month. Doesn't always. You're paying no, no rent. Just, just get through it. <laughs> You're paying no rent. Nothing for your mobile phone, nothing for bills, nothing for ironing, nothing for housekeeping, nothing for anything. Apart from the money you earn, which you spend on clothes, nails, hair, going out and that sort of thing. In those circumstances, do you think it's reasonable to ask your mum for cigarette money? when you already, on the face of it, have paid her nothing for any of the contributions she's made to your life? I don't think it's reasonable. Good. So why do you do it? Because if, I was, if my mum was struggling, I'd give her the last pound in my purse, but I've never got a pound in my purse, so I can't. <laughs> <laughs> you know she's having fun with her friends despite not paying you. Don't pay me once, shame on her. Don't pay me a million times, shame on you. Tell me about the teeth whitening. How much was that? I think it was about £20, maybe 30 Not very much. £18.50, according to Mum. Is that oh, right? OK. That was the balance, Judge. You paid for it? Yes, because she At the time, she it. got your teeth whitened, just like everything else. You said, oh, loosely, I'll pay you back at some point, but you never intended to. And Mum said, you didn't really expect, bearing in mind over a period of time, Mum's let you get away with this for this long and not pay anything. You didn't really expect that she would ever seek to come back after you for that debt, right? No. Just like everything else. Your approach to the world, financially, is not entirely your fault. It's created in significant part by you, Mum, Lynn. And I hold you responsible significantly for the poor attitude that Jess presents today. Don't be stupid. Stay and watch the best judge end of moments. And I'm talking. Understood? Don't be a moron. Subscribe to Judge Rinder YouTube channel. Right now. That's an order.